Welcome to the world of computer. My name is Prithvi Akala. I am an associate data solution architect and I work at a very well reputation organization. My hobby is learning new technologies. I'm a professional coder. I can code in Java, Scala and Python. And I'm an architect. I had designed the systems which manages billions of transactions and petabytes of data. And I'm a mentor too. I've been training the people in the several different technologies um, and I had trained around 600 happy trainers. So this slide is very important. This slide had made you to sit all today along with me in this class. The Microsoft and the Stack Overflow had done a survey in 2021 till the 2023 and what they observed was 25 to 40% of the software engineering students doesn't hold the computer science degree. That means 40, 40, 25 to 40% of the people are not from the computer science background. And 35% of the developer doesn't have the proper computer science fundamentals. After looking at the survey, it had blown up our mind. So the quality thought had thought of starting this course, which is a bridge course. And I'm going to be the faculty for this bridge course for the next one month where the agenda of this course is to majorly to fill the gap between the industry expectations and the students. And in the next one month, you will be get trained on four major components. One of it is the computer architecture. We'll be starting off with understanding what the computer is, how does it work? And then we will be looking into the RDBMS along with the SQL, which is a structured query language. And then we'll start off with the programming fundamentals where we had chosen the Python uh, to teach you this programming fundamentals because the Python is one of the fastest growing programming language. And of course, you cannot even imagine the world of computer science without the cloud. So we'll be teaching you the cloud fundamentals. So for this, we will be using the AWS. How will this course help you? So this course will transform you from a developer to the professional developer. So who is a developer? Of course, a developer is a person who writes a code, develops programs, which takes an input and generates the desired outputs. But who is a professional developer? The professional developer bothers about the memory consumption and the execution time to generate the desired output. That means, uh, a developer who really who is really concerned about the memory consumption of a computer and the execution time and the usage of the CPU uh, to generate a desired output makes a developer a professional developer. So this course will transform you to a developer to a professional developer. Of course, everything in the computer science space starts with understanding how the computer works. So we'll be starting with the computer architecture and we will be learning uh, and understanding how the computer works internally. Computer is everywhere. Computer is in your pocket as a mobile phone. It's in your car as a device uh, which senses different things. It's on your wrist uh, as a smartwatch and it's in your backpack as a laptop. Computer is everywhere. And what makes a computer a computer? So how does a computer really works? To understand what makes a computer a computer, uh, computer, you have to understand how do they work. So if you look into any computer for say, starting from a smartwatch to a laptop, all the computer does the four important things. The first one is input the information, stores the information into the memory, process the information, and output the information. So any computer for say does this four important operations. The input the information, stores the information, process the information, and outputs the information. So if you look at a computer, computer works very similar to the human body. One of the important organs of the human body is the brain and brain understands electrical signals. And it's the responsibility of an organ to convert 
the actions into the electrical signals to communicate with the brain. So if you look at the major organs, major senses of a human body, touches, one sense, hearing, vision, smell, and of course the taste are the five important senses of an any human organ. If you take an example of an eye, eye has a very important um, component called the retina, which will actually convert an object uh, that you look in the external world into an electrical signal, and that electrical signal will be transferred to the brain using the optic nerves. So optic nerves will are the carriers of these electrical signals, which will carry the electrical signals uh, from the retina till to the brain. So once that signal reaches to the brain, then the brain will basically understand what the human is actually trying to look at. So if you're looking at the light, the, the image of that light will be captured by your eye and retina will basically do that. And that retina will basically convert that into an electrical signal and that, that will, uh, then those electrical signals will be transferred to the brain, brain via the optical nerve. Not just the brain, any organ for say you take in the human body does the same thing. So the brain is the important organ of the human body. Now if you compare the functions of the human body with the computer, this is how it looks like. So if you look at the different components of a human body and compare that with uh, the computer, this is how it looks like. The CPU, the CPU is the brain of the computer. So it's equivalent to the brain in the human body. And then the RAM and the hard disk are the memories of the computers and they are similar to the human memory. And the input and the output devices are like your senses. If you take eye as an example, eye is a kind of an organ which is very similar to the input device and the responsibility of the eye is to capture the object a human looking at and it needs to convert that into the electrical signal and that electrical signal has to be passed uh, to the brain uh, via optic nerves. In the same way, the computer also has a different input and output devices, which captures different actions from the external world. And if you look at a software program, the software program is very similar to the genetics. By the way, the software program is the set of instructions, um, and they are a kind of an instructions given to a computer on which the human wants to perform a particular activity. And networking and the communication systems are similar to the nervous systems. So this is how you can basically compare a human body with a computer. Like the way how the human, brains underst human brain understand only the electrical signals, the computer, the CPU of the computer, which is a brain of a computer, understands only ones and zeros, which is called as a binary. So brain understands electrical signals, computers understand the binaries. So it's the responsibility, the way how the eye had converted the electrical, the object uh, that, that has been captured into an electrical signal and then passed to the brain, the same way the inputs, all the input devices responsibility is to capture the action performed by the human and convert that into the binary and pass on to the CPU for the further processing. Mm -hmm.